Butter chicken is the ultimate velvety curry and a favorite Indian takeout dish. Today I'm going to show you how to make a really simple and easy version that your whole family will love. Even if you've never had this, you better go ahead and give this a try. I have two pounds of boneless skinless chicken thighs that I have cut into cubes. You can also use chicken breasts for this recipe. That will be perfectly fine. Into this, I am putting half of a cup of Greek yogurt. You could use a little less, but I find that this yogurt makes your curry so creamy. I'm putting a tablespoon of minced garlic and ginger. I actually shredded my ginger with the microplane. And for my spices, these are so easy to find. Some chicken bouillon, some garlic powder, coriander, chili powder, and a little bit of white pepper. For the chili powder, if you like it spicy, use cayenne. If you want it a little milder, then use like a paprika. Now this is some garam masala. It's about a half of a tablespoon. I'm gonna put this in at different points throughout the dish. So pay attention because when I put it in at these various times, it'll affect the flavor and aroma of the dish. This is just a teaspoon of Madras curry powder. Most of you all will be able to find this spice mixture very easily, so that's why I wanted to include it. I'm gonna give a generous pinch of salt and then I'm gonna mix this all together. I'm gonna to allow this to marinate at room temperature for 30 minutes. But if you would like to do this overnight, you can go ahead and wrap this in cling film and store this in the fridge. I know some of my viewers get most of their spices from places like Walmart, and you may not be able to find garam masala. So in a pinch, here's what you can do. You can take some cumin, maybe about a teaspoon of cumin, about a fourth of a teaspoon of allspice, and a little pinch of cinnamon. And while it won't be exactly the same, it will be close enough for you to be able to make this dish, and it will still taste really good. I have actually done that in a pinch when I didn't have any, and I still really enjoyed my curry. And that way you don't have to buy a spice that you may not already have in your cabinet. Into a wok, I'm gonna add some ghee. If you don't have ghee, olive oil is fine, but I will encourage you to buy a good quality butter since this is a butter chicken. So I'm using this grass fat butter from Costco. Of course, Kerrygold is okay, and I'm putting in about a tablespoon. I'm gonna perfume this oil, which is gonna give it a lovely fragrance with a clove, um, a little bit of cinnamon, a pinch of cumin seeds, a little bit of the garam masala, and another pinch of curry powder. That's gonna give a nice fragrance to your oil and a really good taste um, to the chicken that we're about to fry. Our chicken is going in and I'm gonna cook it about 80% done. That's gonna be about three to four minutes on each side until it gets a beautiful golden color. If you're using chicken breast, then just adjust the time to when your chicken is about 80% cooked. Make sure you give me a big thumbs up to encourage me and it helps push out my content. And in the comment section, let me know what you're going to serve for this dish. And make sure you stay to the end as I give some insider tips on making the best butter chicken. This chicken is golden and juicy and so I'm gonna take it out. As I take it out the pan, I'm gonna collect the cinnamon stick and also the clove because we're gonna be blending this mixture and you don't want the whole cinnamon stick and clove to get into that. However, the cumin seeds, you can just let them be at the beat, okay? Um, now I'm gonna put in the onion as well as the cayenne pepper. You can leave out the cayenne pepper, but this one pepper isn't gonna make it that spicy. And cashews, this is one of the secrets to a really good butter chicken. Cashews add a nice creaminess um, to the dish. Now I'm going in with more of that garam masala, a little bit more curry powder, and some paprika. For paprika, I'm using Kashmiri chili powder. It has a very vibrant color. However, many of you will only be able to get this at the Indian store. So if you can't, just use some paprika. Now I'm adding a can of tomatoes and just put a little bit of water in my marination bowl, as well as some bay leaves, two bay leaves, and I'm gonna let this simmer for about 15 to 20 minutes so that everything gets soft and is gonna be super easy to blend. Remove those bay leaves, and now the thing about a butter chicken gravy is that it's not just called butter chicken because it has butter in it. It's also called butter chicken because the gravy is silky and smooth. And so in order to achieve that, we're going to actually sift out um, the gravy and get out some of that you know, debris and that texture, which will leave you with a buttery, 
velvet curry sauce. Now, of course, if that's not your thing and you're like, sifting is just too much for me, honey. Okay, I ain't trying to do all that. You know what? Just blend it up and just put it in and you don't have to sift it. But if you want that butter texture, you got to do this. I have tasted it and I decided to add a little bit of a chicken, a chicken bouillon cube and a pinch of salt. And then I'm going to put in the chicken with the juices back into this gravy. I'm going to mix this. I'm going to let this simmer for just about 10 minutes on medium low so that the flavors can all come together and the chicken can get cooked all the way. It's going to really flavor up that gravy. Once it's done simmering, I'm going to go in with half of a cup of heavy cream, but you could also use coconut cream or a thick coconut milk. This is not, you know, a runny coconut milk or a milk occasion. Okay, you need something that is creamy and thick. I'm also adding about a half a tablespoon of butter and just a teaspoon of sugar, but the sugar is optional. Okay, now just go in and adjust your spices to taste and put on the rest of your garam masala. Adding this at the end because it is fresh is going to heighten the aroma and thus heighten the taste. Um, I hope you guys have enjoyed these tips I've been giving you on the best butter chicken. To garnish, I'm putting on some more heavy cream and I'm going to serve this with some fluffy basmati rice as well as some naan and I'm going to garnish this with some chopped up cilantro and I loved this curry. I hope you guys are blessed and that you enjoyed this recipe. I will see you next time in Kamira's Kitchen. Goodbye.